<laughs> right, listen, right, the reason why I brought you in is because I've got some ideas for characters and I just want you to let me know what you think of them, let me know if they're crap or no, alright? This first one is based, in fact, hold on, welcome to the Me Show. Right, this first one's uh, based on, I was I was in a pub a few months ago having a breakfast, right, it's big fry up breakfast, and on the plate was a mushroom, big fried mushroom, right, and I don't like mushrooms so I didn't eat it, but I thought, you know, that's a waste, this, this mushroom just got to waste, it'd be good if I could go up to one of the other tables and say, just approach them and just go, excuse me, do you want this mushroom? I just thought an idea, a, a character that does that, just goes like that all the time, just goes up to people, goes like that. Excuse me, do you want this mushroom? Do you want this mushroom? Just goes up this big gigantic plate, this big mushroom at the edge. Do you want this mushroom? Mm hmm. The thing is, you know, he's not like, he's not like a, he's not just like a guy in a pub. He could be, he could be like anywhere. He could turn up anywhere at any time. Just like a, like really inappropriate, really funny, inappropriate situations, like, uh, like, imagine, like, a funeral, so he turns up at a funeral, so it would be, like, everybody would be like, Amen. And then you hear this. Do you want this mushroom? Do you want this mushroom? I don't know. Just picture it, you know, a huge, huge mushroom at the... I just forget it. And I hope you know how serious a situation this is. This isn't an official verbal warning, but let me tell you, right now, you are literally walking on very thin ice. No, I'm not. The hotel, oh, the hotel. It was the best part of the holiday. Um, see, when we got there and we saw the reception, we were literally over a minute. But it's a hotel in space, aye. Have you seen my keys? Gonna look for my keys because they were literally right here. Oh, they were literally right here, were they? I'm so glad you said they were literally right here because see if you just said they were right here, I'd have started looking from air there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Enough! Right, here's one for you, right? This is a daft one, you either love it, you'll hate it, right? Probably hate it. <laughs> it's a... It's a character that goes like this, right? Listen. What's the problem? What's the...? What's the problem? What are you saying? What's the...? Problem. It's like problem only with an L instead of an R. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? So what is the problem? I mean, problem. It's one end What'd you say? What is the problem? I don't know. I've not all thought about it. I just think it's this guy that goes like that. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? So, does he ever actually sort any problems out? No, he... Well, no, he could. Well, he could. He could, like, turn up at, um... I don't know, like, funerals and... No, I know what he, no, I know what he could do. Right? He could sort out, like, imagine, like, really... Like, serious global situations, like imminent nuclear war, that kind of thing. So imagine it's like uh, North Korea and America and they're just ready to go head to head, nuclear war, and he steps in, he just sorts it right out, just be saying that, just sorts it right out. But, 
Well, well do you not just try it, just try it. Like, like you, like you imagine like North Korea and America, you go like that. We're going to nuke you and you go like that. We're going to nuke you, right? They try that back and forth. We're going to nuke you. 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 What's the problem? We're going to nuke you. We're going to nuke you. We're going to nuke you. No, then that would be it. It would stop there. That would be it. It's the way he says it. It's like, what's the problem? It's a funny way he says it. What's the problem? Yeah, what's the problem? What's the problem? No, I just don't get it. No, wait a minute. There was a way I was doing it in the house. What was it? What's the problem? 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 Fine. All right, all right. Wild Pi 21 gigawatts. Had to get a brand new computer the other day, man. Just feel lost the plot. Oh! All right, Junior, I fucked up my computer again. Gonna come out. <laughs> Gonna come out and fix it. What are you doing in this time? I don't know. <laughs> she don't laugh at me. She's usually one of my cousins. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm over with you. Yo. Oh, hurry up, man. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm on the train, right? I'm nearly there. We're going to hurry up because this is doing my nothing. <laughs> like, I can't make the train go any quicker than... Sorry. Who was that? Oh, it was just someone wanting me to be quiet. Anyway... What? Where's he getting off? I don't know. Do you know you're going to buy a ticket? Oh, I did. He's getting off of yours, but... But John Paul... Yes! Alright, how's it going? Is that a mayor, aye? Uh, aye, but... Not gonna just leave him. All right, remember me, mate. Crash. Back the way going you on? came. What, what are you hitting me for? No, no, that way, that way, going. That's it. That's it. Up you go, mate. That's it. A four. See, you try to sneak back here or cut your ribbons. All right. Gonna just leave him, John Paul. You only tell me to be quiet. Shut up, you. Do you want to fix my computer? No. You don't know, right? No, I don't think I do. Hey, you know right, you can go and join them, man, go on. Hey, you go, you got a wee companion there. Go and get a wee punty up. You got a wee companion there, mate. Look at a couple of wee travelling mulberries, man. We need to talk. What about? I'll buy a split up. Split up? What for? I'm fed up. Really fed up. I'm fed up for years. We don't go out, we don't do anything. I don't understand. This is totally out of the blue. I thought we were getting on. What's happened? Nothing's happened. That's what's wrong. I feel like I'm no... We're no... What, no what? What's wrong? I don't know. I'm talking shit, just forget it. Is everything all right? Aye. All my friends will be moving on. They've all got plans. But I don't know what to do with my life. I feel so worthless. I love my family. But I can't take much more of this. Somewhere along the lines, I forgot who I was. And now I'm lost. It's a steady job. It pays well. So I can't complain. I shouldn't complain. I mustn't complain. Sound familiar? 
things getting to you. Feel like letting out a wee cry for help. Then do it. But for God's sake, don't try and kill yourself. Don't cut yourself up. Don't bring yourself to harm in any way whatsoever. If you want to let out a cry for help, I've got just the thing. Piss yourself. Oh my God, Lemmy, are you okay? What's wrong? Lemmy's pissed himself. Oh, you're joking. Oh, come on, Lemmy, mate, let's get you up. Oh, what's wrong, Will? He needs a break. He's had enough. Oh, I knew things were getting to you. Come on, mate, we'll get you some help. We're here for you, mate. Good morning, Mulvaney Group. Cathy, it's uh, Mr Mulvaney here. Hello, Mr Mulvaney. Cathy, I'm running a little late for the uh, sub-directors meeting, so could you begin putting the reports out in the boardroom table, please? No bother. Uh, I'd just like them to get familiar with the numbers before I get there. There are uh, three reports in total, I believe. The first one is... Hello? Are you still there, Mr Mulvaney? Cathy, can I call you back, please? No bother. Thank you. Okay, okay, just... Just calm down there, calm down. Just uh, don't look at... don't look at them. Don't look at them. Just calm down, they might, they might just pass you by, just don't attract attention, not too fast, not too slow, just easy as she goes, easy as she goes. Hello officer, how can I help you? Uh, sorry to pull you over Mr Mulvaney, but uh, uh, we've had a report from a, a shopkeeper who has uh, uh, informed us that... <laughs> you don't believe him, do you? <laughs> Well, Mr. Mulvaney, the, the, the shopkeeper has... Uh... No, no, officer, hold on a second here. This is my word against his, and you're taking the side of a shopkeeper. Officer, look around you. Why would I lie? Open your eyes and look. Well, Mr. Mulvaney, uh, the CCTV footage uh, clearly shows that... Of course. CCTV. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Never happened. Ah, right, I've got one. Right, I've got, like, listen to this. Right, you know how you get the programmes like Booze Britain or Binge Britain or whatever they're called? Aye. Right, you get lassies and got the tutus on and they're wrecked and uh, pissing all the other place and just making a, a fool of themselves, right? Aye. But, right, what, what about, how about a character like that? What do you think of that? What, just a drunk lassie? Aye. Well, a character called Drunk Lassie, and she's just wrecked all the time. So, no, she's like, like she's like wrecked. She turns up wrecked, like at really inappropriate situations, like a uh, uh, like a wedding. So, or like a funeral, right now, like a funeral. So, so imagine like they're playing a bed with me, right? You know, an organ like that. Do 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 do, and then you hear this, drum, and it'd be hard. Up, like she's fairly other organ and it's like she's like hey you know she's got a tutu and it's sick dinner she's falling out just the other got organ like hey I don't know I think it would be hilarious they're hilarious in that programme aren't they you've seen them aye but I think that's like mainly because like, hey! mainly because it's real do you know what I mean it's like reality aye but aye, just picture her though like falling into the coffin knocking the coffin there and Everybody like, oh my god. See, I think I kind of prefer the mushroom guy, to be honest. Aye, same here. Get 
a lion. Yet a lion, a lion, a lion. Yet a lion, a lion, a lion. What's that noise? Never happened. Did you ever get bored? That's bored. Excuse me, do you know where A1 Comics is? E1 Comics. Eh, there it's there. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Your best shields are behind you now. 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 No, no, give us a minute. Fucking... I was on the bus, right? Can't mind what for. And out the corner of my eye, I spot the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. Hanging out the pocket of the guy standing next to us. Orange peels. Fucking... Orange peels. Just done a add up. He was this businessman. Pure immaculate. Pure big paper. Pure suit. But hanging out the suit's about half a dozen oranges worth orange peels. No, that just doesn't add up, man. Something was seriously rhyme with this picture. Tried to calm myself down. Thought, look, Dee Dee. There's probably a perfectly logical explanation for all this. When the guy was waiting for the bus in the morning, instead of having a fag like everybody else, he got torn into some oranges, like a fitness fanatic, right? When the bus turned up, he couldn't find a bin for his pills, so he just jammed them in his pocket and chucked them on the deck, because he's a fitness fanatic, right? Cool. Case closed. But then I thought, it's just one more thing. Like Columbo, right? I thought, if that was me, if I had these trampion spiels hanging out in my pocket, I'd be like that. Oh, here. I forgot about them. Be pure trying to hide them for everybody. In case they thought it was mental. But this guy doesn't give two fucks. Kills a cucumber. And then it clicked. It's cause this guy is a psycho. Started worrying. Started thinking about other psychos and buses that you hear about. The ones that blow buses up. 
Started wondering what he was going to do on my bus. Started having a panic attack. And he looked at me. I was like, game over, Daisy. Game over. I don't know what this guy's mission is, but it's game over. Any second now. Or any second now. Or any second now. Just any adult. What happened to your wristbands? You know, the yellow wristbands you were all wearing a few years ago? What happened to them? You know, the cancer ones, the, the cancer awareness ones? Because I remember you all had one. You, you know, you all had one and now... Nobody. Just wondering why you took them off. Is there, has there been a cure for cancer? Has there been a... Because cause nobody told me. I mean, has there, has there been a... That's fantastic. Has there been a cure? I'm only kidding, I know there's been no cure for cancer. I'm just wondering why you've taken them off. That's all. Because it's as if... Ah, oh, no, it's, it's a terrible thing for me to think. I just... I just think now, it's, it's as if... He's just woke up one morning, looked at your cancer awareness wristband, and thought, see this? See this? Cancer awareness wristband? Bin! Cancer awareness? Bin! Like he's can't be arsed with it anymore. Like it's went out of vogue. I mean, that's a terrible thing for me to think, isn't it? I mean, that's like me saying that cancer awareness for you was like not more than a fashion statement. That's a terrible thing for me to think, isn't it? I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't know what your reasons are for taking off your cancer awareness wristband despite there being no cure for cancer. I'm just... Just noticing. Oh, right, right. Tell me what you think of this. Right, this one's... This one's a bit like Drunk Lassie, right? It's a wee bit... Right. You remember Drunk Lassie, you know the... Aye. Right, Drunk Lassie's drunk all the time, right? Mm-hmm. Well, characters just like that, only... This character's called... Soaking Guy. So... For, like, he's just soaking all the time. No explanation, like, maybe it's not like it's been raining or anything like that, right? It's not like somebody's put a bucket of water in him. He's just like that, he's just soaking, utterly soaking, I mean, drenched, completely drenched all the time. The thing is, like, he turns up at these situations, turns up at, like, really inappropriate situations, like, a, you know, like a funeral. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know, I know, that was shite. I know, I know that was shite, even for a sketch where shite ideas are the joke, that was shite. I'm sorry, I'm a big enough man to admit it. It was shite. From the back to the middle and around again, I'm gonna be there to the end. One hundred percent, I'm gonna be there to the end. That's a bit of a strange question, but can you tell me how to get there? Where is it? Maybe it's a photo taken. Mm, I know. That's Millport. Right, what you would do is get the train to Largs. From there you get the ferry. Now the train takes roughly... No, sorry, I know how to get to Millport, but can you tell me how to get to there? That is Millport. I know, but... Sorry, you're confusing me now. Where is it that you want to go? No, you're right, it is Millport. You're right, but... 
See, I took that photo when I was about 16, that's me there. Some day, uh, some summer, just some laugh, tons of pals, and we just all, uh, just kick about all day, just, some will just seem to go on forever, just kick about, no thinking about the morrow, what, what, what we're doing the day after that, the day after that, just kicking about, no aggro, no fighting, nothing, just having a laugh, and jumping off the pier, and swimming about, and all that, and, and then at night, well, every, like, every second night, We'd all go for a carry, we'd all give him money like the oldest looking one, they'd try and get served and I'll right, oh, get us get a bottle of Mary down, get us a bottle of old English, get us diamond white and all that and get us a quarter bottle of Vody and Are you want getting a quarter bottle of Vody, I'll get us a half in and just phone about steaming. Can't get away with that nowadays, but it was a laugh, we were just no aggro, no uh ne ne fighting, nothing like that. Just falling about. It was mistake. We made mistakes. I know we made mistakes, but that was just part of part of life. It's part of living, wasn't it? That's what it was. It was living. Unlike now, it's I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here. I want to be there. So can you tell me, how did I get there? You can't do that, I'm sorry. I just give her a ton of logs in. 7.95. Brilliant. I don't feel anything, Hen. I know. I'm numb as well. It just happened so quickly, didn't it? I'm no numb. I'm on top of the world. These are great, these wee things. What things? Eggies. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Get us cracked open. <laughs> Here, Lou. Do you want this mushroom? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the show. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.